Yeah, and time is running out for millions of Floridians to prepare for Hurricane Milton. The storm is threatening the state's Gulf Coast with dangerous storm surge and damaging winds. Terrence Lee is following the latest developments. Terrence. Goes without saying, this is a serious storm forecasted to be the most powerful hurricane to hit the Tampa Bay area in 100 years. People in evacuation zones are being told to leave now. In fact, the mayor of Tampa bluntly stated in a CNN interview today, if you choose to stay, you are going to die. The lines for gas in Florida are as long as stations struggle uh, to keep up with demand. Governor Ron DeSantis says officials are working with fuel companies to bring in gasoline ahead of the storm's arrival. To be honest with you, if you're going to get gas, just get enough to sustain you for a period of time. And if you have generators, that's what everybody really should be doing. Try to get some gas, but because the situation is what it is right now, it's not going to be, it's not going to be fruitful for everybody. And just look at this. It's not just long lines at the gas stations, but on highways all throughout Florida. This is outside Tampa. Cars are nearly at a standstill. And the traffic isn't getting any better as the day goes on. This is a live look at the roads near Naples. As you can see, there are still a lot of people trying to get out. The bad traffic is a big reason why some people say they're choosing to stay at home. With the roads right now, they're gridlocked. So being cooped up in a car for however many hours with three massive dogs in a car that's not prepared to withstand a hurricane is ultimately not, you know, in our best interest, we feel. President Biden is warning everyone in Florida to take life-saving precautions. Most important message today for all those who may be listening to this in the impacted areas. Listen to the local authorities. Follow safety instructions, including evacuation orders. This is serious. You got to be safe because people are dying. People have died so far, not from this hurricane, but from the last one. And as you know, just about two weeks ago, Helene brought devastating damage to those areas, meaning there is still a lot of debris on the ground, tons of it. So crews are working to clear as much as they can before Milton arrives, but they won't get rid of it all. State and local officials are warning the wind and surge could turn all of that stuff into deadly projectiles. Milton is currently a Category 5 hurricane projected to make landfall tomorrow night. In about 15 minutes, we'll take you to Tampa for a live report. Dawn.